Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how an independent suspension setup in Hyundai Ascent looks like. So as you can see, this is the rear independent suspension, and you can see that that bar over there. So this is the link. This is the main link of the suspension, and there is one more link which is in the front that is uh, holds the suspension from the body to the shaft and similarly we have the other side as well so what happens is when this wheel hits a rock or a speed breaker the entire system the entire column doesn't articulate it just articulates the one wheel so improving the stability and uh, and balance and grip of the car but however if i look into the suspension of a of this car this is a suzuki alto it belongs to my friend you can see the rear suspension setup if something looks like this there is a bar over here that connects both the swing arms and this is not an independent setup most of the cars that we see today especially the compact cars come with a similar suspension setup and this is a very cheap and third class suspension setup which the companies are giving right now and cheating customers so i have always tried to highlight this like why the companies are not giving a proper independent rear suspension setup that might help to improve the stability and instead of you know they are giving a very cheap suspension setup and along with that they are just wasting money and putting a lot of gadgets inside the car which is of no use now if you are imagine if you are driving this car at a speed of around 70 to 80 kilometers per hour and you take a turn while overtaking or at the corners then probably the car will roll and it might also you know create a lot of uh, uh, imbalance effect inside the cabin and this will also cause a lot of vibrations while the suspension or the wheels hit the roads so this kind of setup is the worst kind of setup i would say in any of the cars that's available in the country now this is one of the reason why i love the suspension setup of my old hyundai ascent it's very rugged very strong and very very reliable now the second most important feature in this car is the uh, coilover setup the suspension are coilover i mean the shock absorber has a coil around it and the setup is very simple and straightforward as you can see it's a coilover suspension setup which is not there in the suzuki also this is not a coilover setup as you can see this is the spring and there is no shock absorber in the middle the shock absorber is mounted right behind the coils i hope you can see it so this is not a coilover setup this is a very cheap and third class setup most of the companies are giving the same suspension setup and cheating customers i hope i am very clear about what i'm trying to explain if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe my channel for more such interesting videos and information on cars and automobile related product thanks for watching have a good day